Hello students, I'm going to show you how I cut out my fabric using my pattern. My pattern is that piece of paper that is cut out. Um, as you can see, I've got it face down on the fabric. That's because I want where all my lines are going to be on the fabric to also be the back or the inside of the creature so it doesn't show. I don't want any of these white pencil lines to show. So I trace my pattern and now I'm taping together two pencils evenly and I'm using that as a way to make a hem allowance or a seam allowance. Um, that means that everything's getting plumped up a little bit because when you sew, you can't sew right on the edge of fabric. You have to sew in a little bit and this allows your creature to be the exact size you want it to be. You can use regular graphite pencil or this white colored pencil. I think the graphite pencil actually works better. So now I'm patiently cutting. This makes it look so fast and easy, but no matter how good of the scissors are that you have, cutting felt is a struggle. So you just have to be patient, try different cutting, try little cuts, try cutting out on the tip of the scissors and the inside part of the scissors, try squeezing your hand different ways. Um, all fabric is cut differently. So the, what this doesn't show too much of is me, oh, there I am tracing now with a graphite pencil, which worked great. It was a little bit smoother onto my second piece of fabric and then cutting that out as well. That way my top and bottom fabrics are very similar in size and shape and actually felt stays positioned really nicely on itself while you trace that top felt. Um, cutting will be a, a big part of your time today. So just being patient, working those scissors around, making nice smooth cuts, even if it takes little chomps with your scissors. Once you have both pieces cut out, you need to line them up, check the front and back and make sure they're matching. Right now is the best time to trim any jagged edges, any edges that are differently shaped than the piece of fabric on top or bottom. So here I decide I'm gonna trim a little bit on that raggedy edge and make them really line up. Now you can see I've got that pencil positioned on the inside. And I'm gonna use some scrap fabric to work on the details. The side that you draw on is going to be the back. We don't want any pencil showing. It's kind of like when we use paper to make a collage. First, I cut out the general shape of my details so others can use my scraps right away. And then I work to carefully, smoothly cut those out. Every detail that you put on to your creature is going to be sewn on. So be judicious about how much you'll be able to sew onto your creature. It's also fun to take the fabric you're already using up to the other colors and see what colors look really great with that fabric you're already using. Um, if you leave your project at your table and then go pick out a color, you might be picking something that doesn't look as good or clashes as if you had taken your project up to the other fabrics. People always hold fabrics together to see how they'll work, um, especially when designing clothing. So we're going to keep even the tiniest of scraps in this class so that we can use them um, for all kinds of little bits. Do not throw away any scraps. We've got a scrap box. We're keeping it all. There might even be a shape of a scrap that really inspires you. Um, so be sure and check the scrap box before making your last creative choices. So this is a tacky glue, which means it's really good for this felt. Notice I'm using a single dot. The glue is not gonna be the main thing that holds these on. This is just to tack them into place so they don't jiggle around in storage or while you're, you are sewing later. Once you have everything tacked down at the end of today, we're ready to store it for sewing later.